Welcome to the Game of Thrones show, the only show on the internet that talks about Game of Thrones. My name's Adam. I'm Nina. I'm John. Peter. And <laughs> <laughs> Peter's back, everybody. Yay! Yay! So we're going to be talking about last night's episode. If you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, you dumb idiot, go watch it and then come back and watch this video. Idiot. Thank you. Let's go. So what do you guys think about the episode? Where did it start out? It started out with Arya. 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 Okay, let's talk about Arya. So she's in the House of Black and White, and she's sweeping floors, and people are dying, because, or voluntarily dying. Or being tricked. I don't know if it's like Yeah, do they know that they're gonna die? It yeah. just looks like they, like, he's offering them, like, water. No, I think they know. Poison. I think they know. They like, gave, Adam knows he knows. <laughs> <laughs> knows they know. I think I know I know that they know <laughs> that they're going to die when they go there. It's the temple. Cause that's what that's what uh, Jack and Hagar was talking about, right? There is only one God, and you know his name, and you know what his gift is, right? Did you get that? Was he referring it's, to himself? No, it, death. It's death. It's death. Death uh, is the gift. I, I I didn't catch and that. And the God. I didn't catch that either. Mm -hmm. So people go when they go pray at the house of black and white. They are praying to death, and then they drink the whatever is in that fountain pool, and then they die. Huge whack of a. Uh, <laughs> Poison? Yeah. Huge vat of it? Yeah. It's a lot. They just dump the bodies back in there. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> I totally, that's what they do. That's what they do with the vat. As soon as they Actually. pulled that first guy out of that room, I called the... Or what did I say? They, they have to get their faces somehow oh, or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, wait, let's talk about Sansa's whole thing for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Because... Found all this Sansa, or that Peter Littlefinger Baelish, kind of like behind the scenes again, uh, pulled this marriage together between Sansa and Ramsay, who's now officially a Bolton. So that's just great for her. I just like, but she's kind of stepping up, you know, like, yeah. how Littlefinger was like, get your revenge sort of thing, so like, mm -hmm. she might be able to pull it off and somehow... Yeah, I don't feel like she's not such a pushover anymore. Yeah. I mean, like, she did eventually, she did like, give in to like, going, but it was kind of a logical thing to do, I guess, as opposed to just turning around and disobeying Peter, because if you disobey Peter, that's not going to end well, probably. It looked like when Ramsay found out that he was marrying, like, Sansa, he didn't, it wasn't like, he didn't have, like, that evil grin or something. He yeah. looked like, kind of like, I don't know what to do, like, yeah. okay. And I, like, actually kind of believed him when he said he wouldn't hurt her mm -hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. But I still... I think he's just a total prick. I still think Sansa's a loser and I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you don't like her at all? No. Nope. You don't, you really. don't like her at all? No. I haven't had a reason to like her. Yeah, like she's literally done nothing except cry and like be annoying. <laughs> yeah. Except when did she hit? Oh, oh when, she, when she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her one redeeming when she, moment. When she was uh, pushing Robin around, I, I liked it. I don't, know if Sansa, I don't know if Sansa's done nothing. I mean, like, yeah, she sure, she does, she's not Arya. She doesn't kill people. She doesn't stab them and slit their throats and stuff, right? But she still is, like, she's... Because think of, like, how she was before. If you take yeah. Sansa from first season and yeah. how petulant had, and just, like, oh, like, I really and hated her. And I still her. hate her from that, maybe. But I don't, I don't think she's had too, too many redeeming qualities yet. I honestly don't know what's happened. What's yeah, because this didn't happen at all in the books. No, no. Wait, can we talk about what happened in the books? Is that allowed? Sure, okay. Because, like, wasn't it Jane or something? Yeah, who's being passed off as Arya. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Arya. what? Yeah, so in the books, yeah. uh, Theon, or Ramsay Bolton is marrying Jane Grey, who's just some chick from King's Landing, who's, like, Sansa's friend. She wasn't from King's Landing, though. She or, was from Winterfell. Yeah, yeah, okay. She, yeah. She, was, she was Sansa's friend, but they passed, they, like, they don't know where Arya is, so they make her kind of look like Arya, and they send her to go marry Ramsay, and that's what happens in the books, is that he marries a fake Arya Stark. I don't even remember what Sansa does in the entire film. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on with the light? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Look, ah! like a... Welcome to the other side of the jump cut. Marjorie and Tommen getting married? Ugh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, how old is he supposed to be? He's supposed to be like eight in the book. <laughs> Wait, so, did that happen in the book? No! 
I was also, I was like, when I saw like the sheets, the sheets thrashing around at the window, I'm like, I was like, who they is they cut this? the scene like, to another person. Like, yeah, but they, the they show like Tommen's like prepubescent, tiny, a concave chest line. I'm like, oh, what the heck is going on? She's like twice his age, for yeah. real. So yeah, that was weird. All right, let's go to Cersei, or the, and then the whole uh, High Sparrow, because that episode is called yeah. High Sparrow. Oh, so, really? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck, really? Yeah. That's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting move to get rid of the High Septon. Did it? Put him in jail. Yeah. So you catch. So the High Septon is caught in some uh, unfortunate circumstances, <laughs> and he is promptly removed from office, yeah. kind of, he, by these sparrows, who are kind of religious fanatics. And then, so Cersei travels and meets the High Sparrow to kind of, I guess, kind of, I feel like he, she met him to kind of just like feel him out, kind mm -hmm. of see what his mindset is and hope, like try to kind of, he, she like extended kind of a subtle treaty towards him, like the crown and the faith are the two pillars that hold the kingdom up, right? If one mm -hmm. falls, then the other will fall, so like they need each other or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Like I'll help you if you help me kind of thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that was... And I mean, like, the High Sparrow seems like a decent guy. He just seems, yeah. seems like that guy who just, like, gives all himself. He gives his shoes to somebody who needs it. He helps out feeding poor and sick people. He's a lot smarter, I think, than Susie thinks he is. And not as easily manipulated yeah. as the old last guy, right? Yeah. So, just kind of has to watch out. Uh -huh. Um, what about, um, um, the new Grand Maester? Or the other... Kyber. Oh, Kyber. So Kyber. John got his wish. He got his Kyber down in his dungeon lab. Yeah. Killing rats. Mm -hmm. I was... I was... I, I didn't, like, why did... So she came... Seriously came down to make him write a letter? Mm -hmm. Like, why? Is that like, what he does, though? Well, Maester sent letters. Okay. Yeah, usually the Raven. Yeah. Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense. But, yeah. Oh. I just, like... Finally, kind of getting a slight glimpse of the mountain, or well, maybe not. We assume it was the mountain. Yeah. Mm. Or what was that? That was weird. Yeah. Because Cersei didn't pay any mind to it, right? Like. Well, no, that's probably the project she's talking. Well, about. Well, no, she totally like. Yeah. She oh, wanted. Okay. Like she was there when he was, like pumping out weird stuff out of him and stuff, wasn't? Wasn't oh, she? Yeah. Oh. Do you I remember that? Like, uh, yeah. Kind of. That was, was last season or something, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It was like. Bile or something, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Right, okay. And yeah, the, the little shudder from the mountain was kind of expected, but like. Well, yeah, because they know. stopped so yeah. long and writing a letter, and you're like, okay, well, something's gonna happen. Yeah, like, something from a mile away. But, but like, still good. Like, yeah. Good. I'm like, I was waiting for that. I'm like, I, like come on, let's go. I think yeah, my, like, if they didn't do it, it'd be like, what, what? was the point yeah. of that? Yeah, exactly. I think my favorite moment, though, was when you killed the rat and like blood like splattered yeah, exactly. the thing, and he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still like him. I he's he's a level headed creep, with I uh, maybe not level headed, but he's crazy. I think he's crazy. But he's like well spoken or something and, and like calm. Yeah. But not like too psychopathic calm. I don't know. But just kind of like doing his own thing. Yeah, he's like doing just his like, own thing. Give me enough to make him and... Frankenstein mountain. Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited to see what he looks like and how many rat body parts he has. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's like sewing on rat eye or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we could talk about Jon Snow for a bit. Oh, I thought this was more kind of like Jon Snow's episode, even though he didn't have like tons of time. Yeah, he was this making was the big decisions. Yeah. yeah, I made some big decisions. Mm -hmm. Good, good, bad decisions. Good. Very good. Yeah, very okay, good. cool. I'm, I'm so good. glad he didn't like, not like pansy out, but just like not do it. Mm -hmm. Cut off that guy's head. Yeah. I thought I thought he was gonna just give him mercy. Yeah. I, I was did. worried. I was that he really was... surprised when he cut off his head. I wasn't like super surprised. But I was just like just glad. But I was, I was like, like please kill him. him. Please kill him. Please kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jano Slim was just like was like the worst guy. Mm -hmm. there. I'm glad because you know how I was like leading up to like oh we need to dig a new latrine pit so we've decided oh, to appoint yeah. a latrine. I'm uh, glad he didn't appoint oh, Alistair Thorne. It would have been. Oh, so I would be like petty and like come on. But John was like but I was like you know what. No, John like is a like making an alliance with him, trying yeah, to. Yeah, he's like, I'll appoint you first ranger. I respect your experience, mm -hmm. even if we don't really like each other that much. You're still like a good ranger. Yeah, and it's like, not like he's like, dumb. It's yeah. not like it's not like he would be an awful leader or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, 
Mm -hmm. I yeah, I thought that was I thought that was really smart. Yeah, John Snow, John, John Snow, <laughs> and John Snow are making all the right decisions. Yay! Are you still mad that he didn't that he refused Stannis though? Cause I remember no, you kind of I'm not. No, I'm happier. Not. Yeah, because <laughs> like I don't know. I'm really curious to see what they do with the uh, wildlings now. Yeah, and what he, right. Yeah, he, he will do. Yeah. I kind of like I was picturing that, and I was kind of thinking like possibly like because obviously John Snow doesn't hate them. Uh, he even kind of likes them, maybe, and uh, I think like he'll try. There's a possibility that he might try and uh, incorporate them there, but obviously that'll create like a ton of conflict between, yeah, everybody there and them. But I don't, I don't see him really like letting them go free. So I either think like they somehow get incorporated or he just executes them. I don't think he'll execute them. I don't think. He he will. I think, like, I don't know. I don't think he can, like, incorporate them into the Night's Watch because they're still wildlings, and I don't think. Yeah, but even. I don't think it would be, like, like Night's Watch, but maybe be, like, like, I don't know, have some type of. Like, mm -hmm. maybe he, like, doesn't let them necessarily, like, go free, but they, like, work for him somehow. Or yeah. Up, I, up north. I don't think. I don't. I, I'd be kind of surprised if he sent them kind of north of the wall again. Well, they don't want to be there. I don't think yeah. they do, yeah. And, like, okay. even though they wear all that snowy clothing, like... Well, the whole point of their attack was to get... To get over, south yeah. ...south of the wall, because the, yeah. the White Walkers are coming. I think they will stay, kind of... Will, will reside, at, like, south of the wall, but I don't think they'll end up going much further than that. I think they're going to be kind of close to that area. You think he'll let and them I, go, like, free, though? I don't think he'll let them go free, No. So the hill incorporate them. Well, like yeah, incorporate them or make them kind of like do work or something. Yeah, I don't know. No, just not maybe not, it's, at not at Castle Black or something, but mm -hmm. like. Because like, are there more? Are there more like wildlings still out there? Like. No, I think the majority of them. Yeah. Were with Mad Like ninety nine percent of them all came. Like Crasser didn't come, but like the the vast majority of yeah. wildlings all came down. Yeah, I'd have to say all the John Snow stuff was one of my favorite parts. Oh, totally. So, like, yeah. And I, like, his interactions with Stannis were pretty good, too. Yeah. I think, yeah, they were... I don't yeah. know. It made me like Stannis more. And, uh, yeah. I was surprised Stannis gave him the lot, like, to just kind of do what you want him with. I'm, I'm not too, too surprised. I didn't see Stannis as being like, oh... I'm gonna just like kill them all. Yeah, it's like, like he's, he's, he's kind of pushing like, it to be somebody else's problem because he's yeah, got bigger exactly. things to deal with. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's how I think too. Like, I think I, I think it was just like, well, I don't really care whether they like live or die, but like I have no use for them, so mm -hmm. take them. Here, you can have them. And Jon Snow was still like honest with Stannis and being like, we don't have a whole lot of, or like we can't support your whole army for yeah. how much longer. Or yeah, but we really should respect or like. Are happy that you saved us. <laughs> yeah, that'll never be Thanks forgotten. For <laughs> he like earned Stannis' respect when he killed Janice Slint. Oh, and totally. Like, and so I was like, good. Like, that was like kind of have what it takes moment, to yeah. make tough decisions and yeah. follow through. Yeah. And I, I, I was really kind of like surprised the way they showed the, the like head chopping because like most of the time, oh, yeah. most of the time it's kind of like, oh, they're gonna chop off somebody's head. Swinging the sword, swinging the sword, yeah. and then like you see like I don't know, a bit of a head or something. But like you, you watched it. Yeah, and it was like out of nowhere, kind of like yeah. there wasn't as much of a build up. That's yeah, a sucky I agree way to too. die. That is a really sucky way to die. Just like groveling like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but else? that's him. That's, that's totally true. him. That's yeah. like the way he was gonna go, no matter where he was gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah, and, and what? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm forgetting his name. The guy who's the first ranger now. Uh, Alistair Thorne. Yeah, when he, like, when they, like, kind of, like, protected him for a little bit there, mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, you, like, you better <laughs> not yeah. actually be careful. Yeah. So, like, I was so mad. I was like, he's an idiot. Like, I, he might be your buddy or something, but, like, yeah. let John kill him. Yeah. And he did. He stepped out of the way. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just, like, I'm a little scared now because I really, really like Jon Snow, but I don't want him becoming, like, I don't think he will, but, like, too... Like too powerful or like no. power hungry or like cocky or stuff like that, you know? Cause like, I don't think he's a total black and white kind of takes everything black or yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. I don't think like in that case, like he had to assert his his like yeah not rule but his authority 
And like, yeah, <clears throat> so in that sense, it kind of like made sense, but I don't think he's gonna make and too many just rapid decisions. Too, and so like a lot of people yeah. obviously like doubt him and stuff. And I think like just with that one killing, he's like, okay, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna mess around with you. Okay, let's talk about Tyrion and Varys for a bit now, Dude, I guess. Tyrion's such an idiot. He's an idiot, but like, he's still Tyrion. Like, yeah. What else do you expect from Tyrion? Yeah. Like, come on, like, just go around shouting your name, why don't you? Like, come on, like, if you're trapped in a box with Varys for an extended yeah. period of time, I feel like I'd want some company, too. I don't think Varys is that bad. No, he's no, not. Yeah, like, could you imagine being around Varys for that long? But when the alternative is, like, possibly getting your head chopped off, like... Yeah. Um, yeah, like you I can think... handle it. You're not gonna yeah. go crazy. Come on. Come on. Tyrion doesn't, like, really care, though. That's true. Varys like cares about like because he's saying Tyrion because he thinks it'll help. Uh, the he thinks it's like the best thing possible for Westeros. Mm -hmm. That's why he's saying Tyrion. Tyrion doesn't really care about that too much. He doesn't go along because he doesn't want to die. Though I don't know if he doesn't <laughs> want to die. I don't know why he just, he wanted to. He yeah. insisted on going to a brothel. We didn't even fall through. Yeah, that was a weird moment. Hey. Yeah. So, it, who said it was because of Shay? I said, that was the only thing I could think of. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't I wanted to say it was like, he That's kept on looking at her hand, yeah, but like, it was like, is something on her head? But I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking like, oh, someone's like, holding his hand. I don't know, like, what oh. Like what does that mean to him? Maybe it's because of Shay. I was like, thinking it was because of Shay too. And Jora was there. Yay. Yay. It's like the last place I expected to see Jora. Yeah. But, but like, there's a Daenerys. Yeah, there's a Daenerys. Prostitute <laughs> there. Yeah. Aw, Jorah. So he captures Tyrion. As he's taking a leak off the, out the window or something. <laughs> Classic Tyrion response. Yeah. yeah. I still don't think Ver or Jorah is super unreasonable. I don't think he's going to be super mean to Tyrion. Like, well, he's not going to kill him. No, obviously not. Because that's his ticket to get it back in with uh, Daenerys. No brand! Yeah, Yay! Again. I was about to say, and good thing there is no brand. Still growing into a tree. Ratings out of 10 in 3, 2, 1, 7.5. I like the episode a lot. I thought it was like, I don't know if I can, because I rated the first episode of 7. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was like, like, because I'm not going to have it. But this episode, I feel like a lot happened. Like, Jon Snow, like, kind of showed more development, right? Mm -hmm. There's, like, there's new conflict coming between Marjorie, Cersei. In the high sparrow. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have another stroke. And I'm like, I don't know, I just thought like a lot happened. Tyrion got is gonna get spirited away by Jorah, who we finally seen. There was no brand, so that's awesome. <laughs> so Plus <awesome>. one. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I thought it was a good episode overall. I thought it was okay. Um I found it I don't know, none of the Tyrion parts have been like up to par to like previous Tyrion, so I'm still waiting for that to really step up. Cause so far Tyrion's been kinda Meh-ish for me. Uh, I'm not a, like I like I said. I don't really care about Sansa Stark. So it's the stuff that she's doing right now, I don't really care about. Uh, I hate Ramsey Bolton, but I think he's an awesome actor, and I actually enjoy the sections that he's in. And uh, I thought I'm kind of excited to see what happens there. So I thought that was good. And uh, I love Jon Snow, and I loved everything they did with him that episode. But even I found like some of the Arya stuff like not very exciting. Like it's just kind of slow right now, so no, nothing's true. really happening. So that's that was kind of boring. And then um, I don't know. But Margie and uh, the new king that was kind of cool. So seven. I thought it was uh, better than the first episode. Not quite as good as the last, but yeah, on the whole, I think it was pretty good. I feel like there's so many characters old. now, like all they can do per episode is kind of touch in with each one yeah. and give like a kind of little thing like, oh, here's the next thing they're about to do, here's yeah. the next yeah. thing they're about to do, so. But yeah, it doesn't even get to like what they're doing, to do. it's yeah. like, yeah. here's what they're about to do, and it's just but like, that that's that's still, happened. Happened. So it's like nothing's happening, but like, but at the same time, they're fast forwarding a lot of parts, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, kind of like speeding through and like showing different things, so. Yeah, who knows? Well, yeah, because even like Marjorie and Tom's wedding, I was just like, whoa, okay, there yeah, you go. Like, there you go, they're married. Yeah. They're married, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the Game of, of Thrones show. The only show on the internet that talks about Game of Thrones. 
ever. Hopefully there's no spiders next week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> or too. I might just jump out the window. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you. <laughs> Subscribe and comment and like for Nina because why not? <laughs> because why not? Because why not? <laughs>